Let's do Schoenberg. Karl von Schoenberg, which is a ship I've played exactly once, I believe. Um, memory serves, it has a heal. It's like a gain with a heal, right? Yeah, I've got a heal and a speed boost. No smoke, no hydro. Eight kilometer torpedoes, seven and a half kilometer torpedoes. Six, six concealment, but I've got the 150s. Yeah, I've got the 150s. All right, Schoenberg. This is for Gabe. Grant, as I understand it, it's meant to be a bit of a reboot, but I don't, I don't know how you do that. You have to go, man, this is several months ago. When all this was announced, Straczynski was all over his Twitter feed, like answering questions and trying to, like not giving it away, but like trying to explain to people, guys, I can tell the story. I can take the basic important elements of the story and remold them differently and still tell a good story. And, you know, it won't be exactly the same. It won't be identical. And I'm like, that's good because I don't think you can tell that story again without those actors, all right? You will never replace Andreas Katsalas, ever. The man was the man was just fun. The man was Jakar when he was in makeup. One of one of the one of my favorite encounters over the years. Um, five six years ago, I was down at Space City Con, which happened to be in Galveston, and oh great, I'm bottom tier, yay! Um, and one of the guests there was a guy named Marshall Teague. Now, if you don't know Babylon Five, you would recognize Marshall Teague if you heard him speak. If he opened his mouth or you saw him, you'd know who he was. But Marshall Teague is probably the best known on Babylon 5 for playing um, Talon, right? The, 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 the Narn that Sheridan saves in Season 2 that later comes back and spends so much of his time in the back half of the show is like Jakar's personal bodyguard, okay? And um, Let's do this. I remember I met Andreas once about 20 years ago at Dragon Con, and you hear all these stories from the guys, that, the actors that worked with him about what an amazing, like when he was in makeup, he was Jakar. Like under the makeup and everything, yeah, he was still Andreas, but like when the makeup was on, the man was in character. Didn't matter whether he was on set, on stage, in front of a camera, the man was in character and that was just how it was. And so I asked Marshall about that. I said, you know, you worked with Andreas a lot. I met him once, but I've heard all these stories. Is this, is this really what it was like? And Marshall said, this is exactly what it was like. He said, it was intimidating for a while. He said, but we, he said, especially later on in the show, when we had so many scenes together, we developed this rhythm where literally he would go to lunch, like, you know, they would take lunch on the set. On, and so Andreas would get food and sit and eat. And Marshall playing Talon in character as Talon would stand there like his bodyguard, stand there while he ate and just, you know, stand. And I thought, Wow. Wow, what an amazing story. Like, can you imagine working on a set full of people like that? That like that are that into it? Wow. Just crazy, right? Um, he was a great, he was great fun to talk to. Really, really nice guy. If you ever get the chance to meet him at a con, go up, talk to him, shake his hand. He has so that guy, you realize Marshall Teague has worked on like every sci-fi show in Hollywood. Like, you go look at his resume, he has bit parts and guest spots on like it's like DS9 and like everything. It's crazy. He has, he has so many awesome stories. All right, I'm going to get in here and block this cap. There's not much else I can do just yet. I have very little support. The Cleveland is coming this way. I have to probe and pray that he has the presence of mind to get his butt down here, not get his face melted off by the Zetan who's shooting at him, and hopefully help me radar. Okay. There is the Nevni. Okay, his engine is out. He's in a bit of a pickle. Cleveland's probably going to get him. Come on, kill him. There we go. I don't mind taking a little bit, a few shots here and there. Now, the Nevni's out. 
I think that is the Minsk. It certainly isn't the Aki. The Aki's in mid and has already taken a bit of a beating. Come on, torpedoes. Help me out. <laughs> I'm a mushroom cloud laying motherfucker. That's exactly right, Duke. That's exactly what you are. <sighs> mm, mm, so good. And ladies and gentlemen, that is why you do not sit and smoke in a cap circle because you just tell everybody exactly where you are and we just laugh at you while you die. Now, this war spite is kind of making a bit of a mistake here. He doesn't need to be up here. What are you doing, dummy? What are you doing getting your face melted off? All right. I want to try and work up against this Zeton, but man, this is a risk. I have seven and a half kilometer torpedoes, six and a half detection, and he has six kilometer hydro. So that may not work out. What are you doing? Uh, I need to turn. What are you doing? Are you stopping? You're stopping. Okay. Hmm. Yes, yes, they have greenlit Rendezvous at Rama, which is a, which is a, a a book I've never read, actually. Which is is that Asimov? It's Asimov, right? I'm taking a ridiculous risk that I should not be taking right now. But I'm doing it anyway because I really want I really want to kill the Zeton. such good gas mileage no i'm lit i'm lit he knows i'm here that's bad go away that's what i was trying to avoid yeah that's that's gonna hurt yeah. time to get the hell out of here and pop a heel i have to hope those i have to hope those torpedoes have enough range but man it's gonna be right at the right at the screaming edge of the range if they have it They have the range. This guy's dead. He's about to take at least three. You're done. You're done. Get off my board. All right. Now, I want to get in a gunfight with this Aki and kill him off, but with a McKenzie crawling up my stern, I really shouldn't. So I'm not going to. i tell you what I am going to do. Uh, I'm going to swing to port... Let's get in a position to get Torps downrange on the McKenzie. Look at that, guys. I have one spotting damage. I have one spotting damage. How do you even have one spotting damage? How is that even a, a thing? <laughs> Foundation, they've already filmed the first season of Foundation, PJ. It's on, uh, it's on Apple TV. All right, 6-6. Six, six. I need to get south. We're going to do that and that. He's getting mighty close. That's a problem. Yeah, I got to get going here. Now, this is a force to be reckoned with. Uh, hmm, he's not exactly doing a bang up job of avoiding all of those, is he? Well, he still managed to. Jerkwad. I can't believe that Akazuki is still alive. Clark! That was it. Arthur C. Clark. Thank you. I knew I was forgetting. I'm not gonna fight you. Nice, Kiev. Nice. Now, I really don't want to get in a gunfight with the mines. That is going to end incredibly badly for me. However... Getting in a torpedo fight with the mines, that doesn't frighten me. Let's pause for a moment.
Can't believe that Akazuki's alive on 600 HP. I think the second salvo is bad. First salvo, I think, is going to be pretty good. The second salvo, I think, is going to be bad. Oh, he took three. Oh, feel it. Sea Donkey, thank you for the thank you for the raid. Appreciate that. How you doing? Welcome in. Mm. I bite my thumb at thee, sir. You know, I badmouthed this ship, and I've had two games in it, and they've both been really good games. How you doing, Sea Donkey? Wow. I still want to know how I had one spotting damage. That's just hilariously bad. That's hilarious. All right. The Hatsu is in this cap. The rest of their ships have all run away. The Pobeda is basically just like sitting where he spawned. Let's go have fun with that guy. I have two tier eight kills. This is going to be a good XP game for me. 75% wins. Outstanding. I don't think I'm going to be that lucky tonight. <laughs> it hasn't been that good a night. <laughs> yeah, that's, hey, take that. Take that and call it. Take the win and call it. Mm. Oh, that Valkalette just got hammered by something. Now, I don't know Pepeta's armor scheme all that well. I think the AP is still the right play for me. Probably not at this angle. Yeah, there went the Valkalan, but they got the Hatsu, so it's a trade. Is he turning? He's slowing. I would love it if I got this kill. If I could kill three tier eight ships in this match, that'd be amazing. He sped up. Yeah, it's all right. I'll see if I can kill him with my guns. Kill him with my guns. Bring up the guns. Where are the guns? Oh, he's dead. Feels bad. Hmm. Can't leave my ride behind. Oh, that repulse just got slapped. <laughs> so, Adeldrell, good question. Um, I've got to... Um, tomorrow I'm doing some work down in the studio. I got my last... I got the last of the audio gear I need to get everything set up for four players. Um, and then I need to sit down and put together a schedule. Um, I've got a couple other things in the works. Um, I, I originally had a dinner schedule with a buddy of mine who's going to help me paint all my miniatures. Um, he unfortunately has had to cancel. However, I got a different buddy of mine who I'm going to try and meet up with on the weekend and do some painting. He wants to paint Battletech. I want to paint Nemesis. Um, I think probably the next, so I feel pretty comfortable with the two player, uh, setup that I've got worked out down in the studio. I feel like it works. I need, um, I need a better camera for the overhead shot, right? That Brio, that webcam that I'm using for the top down table shot is suboptimal. Um, so I need a better camera. That unfortunately is going to be another probably like 1500 bucks. So yeah, so I got to work on that. Um, in the, in the interim, I will, I can do solo board game streams without needing that camera. So I think what I'm going to do for a little while is maybe once or twice a month, get down there and do solo games. I was thinking about doing either some solo nemesis, um, solo Batman. I got my Batman, the animated series pledge in. Uh, so that's a good looking game. I want to try that. You can play that one solo. It's literally called the Dark Knight mode, which looks like fun. Um, 
So I've got a number of games that I can play solo. I picked up another one for a two-player game recently called Undaunted Normandy, which is like a, an infantry battle, American-German, World War II kind of thing that looks really interesting. Uh, it's won a lot of awards. Uh, I got a buddy of mine I'm going to call and see if he'll play it with me. He's a, 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 I would say a retired Marine, but there is no such thing. He's a, he's a Marine veteran. There we go. Um, so yeah, I've got some plans. I'm trying to finish up some tech stuff down there uh, and get kind of, wow, that's a really good game XP wise. Wow. Nice. Um, finish up some stuff and, and get some other things done. Um, so probably, probably not next week, but maybe the week after, I think I'm going to try and get something off the ground. I got to work on the solo setup. I've, I've got really, I'm glad you like that one, Hetman. I've got, I've, I've got a really, I feel like I got a really good handle on camera placement, and everything for the four player setup and the two player setup. I need to work on, I need to develop a camera, a camera setup for a solo, a solo setup. And the last thing I got to work on is, um, I got to learn how to use, I got a teleprompter for Christmas from my in-laws. Um, so I can record intro videos and stuff and, and, and how to play videos. So I need to, um, I need to get that set up and learn how to work on that too. So I've still got some learning to do. So yeah, it's, it's, I, and then, and then from there, like once I've finally gotten over like all of the little tech hurdles, then I literally have to sit down and tell people, okay, I, I've got a whole bunch of work to do to write up my plans, spread them out to the players that I've recruited here in Houston Tell them here's what I here's you know here's an example of what I've done here's how I want to do it I need to get I need to get a schedule built I need to get people plugged into that schedule and then we got to start playing games right I got to work at it I've also got to develop I've also got to get my intro video built my credits video built um, I've got to write scripts for all of the intros and how to play sections like there's a lot of writing to do so yeah there's a lot of moving pieces but I'm I'm looking forward to it.